Hi, my name is Stefan, and I teach biology labs. And sometimes during the course of those labs, I have to ask my students to make some metric unit conversions. When I do this, their faces go from this to this. And I assume that their brain is going something like, wait a minute, aren't we supposed to be learning biology here? Why is he asking us about math? At some point, they start to try to remember that big scary table in their textbooks. I might have put one of those in our lab manual as well. Sorry, guys. Then they pull out their calculators, or worse yet, their mobile phones. Labs are messy, guys. Keep your phones out of it. And then they try to remember the relevant exponents. This is 10 to the minus 6. And then they try to put it all together somehow. Do I multiply? Do I divide? Why are there so many negative exponents? So is there an easier way? Yes, yes, there is. Let's start with what you already know about these conversions. Here's the list of fairly common units used in biological labs. OK, so maybe kilograms aren't really that common in biological labs, but you're already at least familiar with those. And so they are listed um, based on their magnitude, from largest to smallest. So kilograms are the heaviest, and picograms are the lightest. Okay, and so they are arranged from left to right in order of magnitude. Now at some point, someone has probably told you that there is a thousand-fold difference between grams and milligrams and a thousand-fold difference between milligrams and micrograms. And that all you have to do to convert milligrams to micrograms is to multiply by 1,000. And to grow from milligrams to grams, you have to divide by 1,000. And that's great, but on a test in a stressful situation, students will quite often mix these things up and get the wrong answers. So there is an easier way. Just remember the order of these units, and then simply shift the decimal point by three places in the direction in which you want to go. Now, sometimes the decimal is clearly indicated. So for example, 0 0.2 milligrams has a decimal point right there. That's the decimal. And sometimes it's implied, so 1 kilogram is the same thing as 1.0. So there's the decimal place right there. So if we want to convert 1 kilogram to grams, you just have to remember the order. Kilograms come first, then grams, then milligrams, and so on. And then you're going to take that 1 kilogram, which is really 1.0, and then shift the decimal point this dot right here, by three spaces. One, two, three. And fill in the rest with zeros. So that becomes one, zero, 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 and then decimal places at the end. So that means that one kilogram is equal to 1,000 grams. So now let's get back to the original question. Convert 0 0.2 milligrams to micrograms. And let's use the same rule. We have milligrams right here, and we have micrograms, which means that we will be shifting the decimal point to the right. And 0 0.2, so there's a decimal point right here. We're going to shift that to the right by three spaces, one, two, three. And then we fill in the zeros. So that becomes 200 micrograms. And this works for other SI units as well. So for example, you could convert lengths. So kilometers to meters to millimeters to micrometers to nanometers and so on. 
And you can also use this with volumes. So liters to milliliters to microliters and so on. So if you have a question like this, 0 0.2 milliliters, there's your decimal point. You're going from milliliters to microliters, so you're going to be shifting it to the right by one, two, three decimal places. Fill in the zeros. And so that becomes 200 microliters. And that's it. Just move the decimal point three spaces towards the desired unit. Now, let's try it and let's go through a, a four examples. Now, pay attention to the last one. It's a little bit tricky. Number one, what is 20 milligrams when converted to two grams? So again, let's remember our order of units. So it'll be kilograms to grams to milligrams to micrograms to nanograms to picograms. We don't need all of those. We're just worried about milligrams and grams. So we're going to go to the left. And so 20.0, this decimal point gets transferred to the left by three spaces. That's one, two, three. Here's your decimal point now. Fill in the zeros and in here as well, and you get 0 0.02 grams. Okay, there's your answer. Let's try another one. What is 20 milligrams when converted to micrograms? Okay, so in this case we're interested in milligrams and micrograms on the scale, so we are going to be moving our decimal point to the right. We're starting with 20.0 and let's move this decimal point by three places to the right. One, two, three. Fill in the extra zeros now. And we get 20,000 micrograms. Okay, and that's the correct answer. Let's try another one. How many nanoliters are there in 0.5 microliters? So we need to know about microliters and nanoliters, and we are going from micro to nano. So we're going to start with 0 0.5 microliters, and now we're going to shift the decimal point by three spaces, one, two, three. Fill in the extra zeros in the spaces we have available, and that becomes 500. And there's the decimal at the end there nanoliters. Okay, so that is your answer right there. Last one. Convert one microgram to grams. So we're going to have micrograms over here, grams are over here, so we are shifting to the left. We're going to start with 1.0 micrograms. Here's your decimal point and move it over. So follow the same rules as before. One, two, three. Let's fill in the zeros. And there's the decimal point here, new place. Now, if you've got this far, then this is the tricky part, okay? Because if you've got this far, then you got as far as the milligrams. So you have found out that one microgram is equal to 0 0.001 milligrams. But we want to have grams, which is why you need to go over by another three decimal places from milligrams to grams. So three more places, one, two, three. Put a new decimal point here. Fill in the zeros that are missing in here. And so your answer now is 0 0.000001 grams. Okay, so one microgram is equal to 0 0.000001 grams or 10 to the minus 6 grams. Now, is that true? Is that correct? Well, we can look this up in our big scary table. And there it is. So this would be the grams in this case. And here's microgram oops, yeah, micrograms. There it is, there's 10 to the minus 6, that's the amount in grams. So 1 microgram is equal to 10 to the minus 6 grams. So that was simple, wasn't it?
Now, if you want some more practice with this, I have prepared some extra videos. Um, these are going to be in the format of a rapid fire practice. I will give you five questions and I will give you five seconds to solve each one of them and then I will give you the answers. And so your challenge will be to solve the question before I give you the answer. And again, the idea there is that you're not using a calculator, uh, you're just using paper and pencil or ideally just doing this stuff in your head. But let's start off with, with using pencil and paper. Eventually you'll be able to do this mentally. See you next video.